Today, we're gonna to look at this. Tea break. Mid-1970 here again, and I've had an idea for a project. Uh, this one's gonna probably take me several days to do. Um, but if anybody like me has got a door westbury mill the way you have to raise and lower the head unit is by rotating this collar the idea that i've had is i've got an electric motor here that will run in forward and reverse i've got some gears and then i'll have a switch on here and then all i've got to do is just basically hold the head still push a button it'll lift push the button to go down and it'll go down and that's it and then I'll take you through the steps of the build. Now I'm going to make this fit here. This is a different size. This is six mil, this is seven mil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this out on the lathe, try and keep the center, and then turn it down so that it fits there. That's the plate drilled ready for the motor. And that's all the holes drilled and tapped. Now I'm going to hole saw out the middle.
that is just ever so slightly bigger than the actual collar, so give me some clearance. And as you can see, it screws on. So very briefly, here is the collar, that's our bar finished. That is now going to sit on here, I've taken this off, that's the front. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a bracket fix on there for the motor and gears to fit on and then that will drive that up and down. Now for the bracket. So I marked and welded this in the exact place that I want it. So it's just tacked on there at the moment so that I can try it. And when I'm really happy with it, I'll put a bit more weld on before I paint it. And here we have it mounted. So all the hard work was done, it was made, it was fitted, came to testing it, and the motor's not powerful enough. I was told that it would be strong enough, however it's not. So, we're not beaten yet. We are going to now use a 12 volt DC motor. So the only reason I'm showing this is because obviously sometimes things don't work out. So I've now got to remake this to fit this bracket. Right, I've amended this bracket so that it uh, accepts the 12 volt motor 
Um, I've got to test it. So it's got this one has 17 and a half kilos per centimeter of torque. Now I'm going to test it with a 20 volt battery pack. Push the positive one in and the negative one. I think that's a pretty fair demonstration of it working. It's lifting it up, it's raising it, which is exactly what I want it to do. This is the bracket that the on-off switch is fitted to on my door Westbury. Now I'm going to extend this side of it and then I'm going to mount the new switch pack on for raising and lowering it. Right, <clears throat> I've extended the bracket. This is the switch base, the on-off switch, and this is my up-down switch. So I'm going to mount that onto this new plate here. Okay, so the last part of this project is making sure that we have power. Now, I bought one of these for a kind gentleman on eBay. And this is an under shelf mounter for a battery. So what I'm gonna do is drill a couple of holes in here, fit the electrics into it so that I can snap it into place. And then I'm going to fit it Here. So I fitted the terminals into here by warming them up and then slowly pressing them into the hole and holding them in place while they're cooled down. Um, I put a little bit of hot glue on but I don't think that's necessary. Um, might have been better off actually put some super glue in there but there we go. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix this onto here. Uh, it will have two fittings in the back of the box and one fitting that goes through the front of the box and then those wires will go inside the switch probably from underneath um, and then we're about done
and that's our project completed. Works wonderfully and it's going to save me a lot of time in the future. Thanks for watching, especially if you've been one of my subscribers who sat there and watched this entire episode until the end. I do appreciate it. Um, join me again for another project. I've got lots lined up in the future. Uh, I'd love to see you again. Please remember to like and subscribe and uh, take care. See you again soon.